You're on your own, OK? You're cold. What you need to do is start a fire. Well, how am I going to make a fire? You avail yourself of the survival patch. Now, these fellas have flint woven into the fabric itself. you got a couple of those on the arms. Mm. Down with a bit of kindling. A couple of hours later, you got yourself a fire. Hmm? A roaring fire, sir. Are you insane? Well, this isn't working, OK? You're not my target market. Well, who is your target market? Grasshoppers? Well, what are you doing, eh? You're standing there mocking me. Why don't you bring something to the table, the ideas table? All right, check this out. This, my friend, is the Celebrity Radar. I call it the Celebrity Radar. Leroy knocked this up for me before he went skiing. What does it do? Basically, I've been tagging pop stars without them knowing, like pigeons. I sneak up on them. Tag their ankles, they don't know anything about it. And say, I want to know where the lead guitarist of the horrors is, right? Joshua Von Grimm, turn on the radar. <laughs> He's in Bethnal Green Cemetery having a picnic. <laughs> Genius. Why would I want to know where he is? Not you, cool people. 15 year old girls, trendies, people in the know. You're going to make money out of this? Yeah, I've got over 400 pop stars tagged. I'm going to make a fortune. I'll make more money out of my elbow patches. Oh, <laughs> get real. Care to make it interesting? Yeah, how much? Five euros. All right, you're on, Grasshopper. You're on, Neville Bamshoot. We'll see. Let the battle of the sales commence. <laughs> Next. Can you tell me what the lead singer of the Platsons is? Uh, apparently, he's in Marks and Spencers in the dad section, buying a jacket. Cool, thanks. We stay up till 5am, although we're bound by shame and law. What goes on tour stays on tour. We're super magic men. We stay up till 5am. Well, we're having a panic attack. Shop's gonna be alright, in it? No. But you feel they're gonna get into trouble? Yes. What are we gonna do? Drink this. Hmm. Hey. Be quiet, please. I can't hear my internal tom tom. We appear to be lost. Oh, you are useless. Well, I'm more than happy to let someone else drive. I can't drive. I'm shit-faced. Yeah, like if you were sober, you could drive anyway. You can't even reach the pedals, you cleft. How dare you? I've got a heavy goods licence. There's no one here who's got more miles under their belt than me. Look, save it, you pinky wafer. Let Kirk drive. Kirk can't drive. He's a renowned ram raider. Kirk. Is it true that you've become a vehicular menace, mowing down all in your path? Yes. Uh, can we stop? I need a wee-wee. We were only just in the service station. I know, but I didn't need to go then. I'm not a machine. I've got a weak bladder. You are a bladder. Anyway, it's not my fault. I couldn't reach the pee trough. I asked you to pick me up. You just shunned me. I'm sorry, but I do not stoop to pick up men in the urinals. That's not what I've heard. Oh! oh! Right into it. <laughs> we're the super magic men. We stay up till 5 a.m. Although we're bound by shame and law. What goes on tour stays on tour. Yeah. I like uh, Saturn. He's, he's lovely. One time, though, he got all uh, space dust on his rings and he had them uh, dry cleaned. And uh, when they came back, they'd all shrunk down all shrunk, and they were all tight to his head. <laughs> he looked like Bill Borg. Uh, don't leave it in thick blobs, rub it in. This is all kind of wrong. Work it with your fingers. This cleft it seems to be getting wider or something. Don't be ashamed of yourself just because you've become aroused. Oh, look, don't flatter yourself, as if Tony the Tentacle Harrison can make me twitch. What fact is that anyway? I don't know, seven. Uh, seven? I need 67, I told you. Why don't you grow some eyebrows, you pink freak? Yeah, my phone. On oh, the boo, put your phone down. The boo, you know the rules. No phones on the stand. And the penalty is very clear. A turban full of tequila in one. Down, down in one. Down, down in one. one. Down in 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 one. Shit off. You are going to be wasted. <laughs> Pack your stuff, 
We're shipping out. Let's go. Just leave. We've got to look after the shop from Naboo. Well, if you want to stay, that's your business, OK? I'm going. Goodbye. You're such a coward. You always leave, don't you, at the drop of a hat? No, I don't. Yes, you do. It's like when we were at school and that bully wanted two euros off of us. You went, oh, we've got to leave. And what happened? Didn't work out, did it? We only got as far as the end of the road. Yeah, and whose fault was that? Come on, Vince. I told you I packed light. That was packing light. But you can't just run away. I've been running all my life, sir. Who from? Student loans. Who runs from student loans? I do. They're very frightening people. Well, look, you just change your address once, they never find you again. You didn't see this guy, OK? He wanted a thousand euros by midnight or we're dead. Wait, Howard. I think I've got an idea. A way we can get the money. I'm not happy about this, you know. Come off it, that's the best outfit you've ever worn. I mean, it's not the outfit I'm worried about, it's the whole scenario. It's gonna be fine. Go and meet Eleanor, ask for the money up front. That's what all prozies do. I've seen it on Hill Street Blues, yeah? Basically, I'll rush in, mug you with this. All right, easy. It's only plastic. Maybe so. Once I've got the money, I'll leg it, meet you back at the shop in 15 minutes. I can't do it. I can't go through with this. Look, Howard, it's either this or the eel man. It's better not go wrong. Get round there. Go on. Cowboy. Howdy. Lovely evening, isn't it? It's a very balmy night for this time of the year. I hope you're as good as your friend says you are. Well, you know, I'm pretty good. He says you're the biggest, dirtiest bar fondler this side of Dalston. Is that right? Well, I'm pretty dirty, yes. I'm filthy, like an old shoe. I want you to mess me up. I'm gonna mess you up, don't worry about that. Turn me into a mess machine. And will do. Oh, yes. Before you touch the merchandise, show me the money. Thank you. Okay. I've got the money. Mm. I have the money now. Oh, yeah. In my hand. I have now got the money. Here it Hush hush, little spaceman. <sighs> and come to mama. Friends! Eighteen hundred and ninety, a thousand euros. Good work, Howard. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Don't ever touch me again. Or look at me. Gold change, please. Paperclip Castle. You are so anal, Howard. Less of the back chat. Pick up the clip. I don't pick stuff up. I knock stuff down. Where's all this coming from, Vince? It's coming from deep within. I'm a punk now. You're a punk. Is that what that's about? Yeah. Check out my outfit. In fact, check this out. It is genius. Is that one of my safety pins? Because if it is, it should be securely tucked away in safety pin cottage. It's not one of yours, all right? I got this at Camden. Uh. This is the original pin. Sid Vicious for through his nose. <laughs> got all stuff on it. I know, it's chock full of punk diseases. Ooh, loads of hepatitis C on it. Ooh. Don't do that. Ooh. Oi, back off. <laughs> Imagine if that went into your jazz bones. You would crumble like Rivita. I don't understand you. One minute you're a new raver, the next minute you're a mod. You're always flicking about on the breeze of fashion. Yeah, well, I'm a punk now, all right. Oh, really? Yeah, and I'm angry. Oh, yeah, what are you angry about? About stuff. What stuff? All the stuff. All the stuff. That's going on in the world. Yeah, like what? Government. Ooh. Climate change. Climate change? It's getting hot, how? Do you not notice? That's making you angry. Why? Because it makes your hair a bit more difficult to straighten? That, and it's a bit clammy. I'm angrier than you. I know you are, but you turn it in on yourself, don't you? That's your problem. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I've seen you in the hallway when you think no one's looking, giving yourself a Chinese burn, huh? I project my anger out in the form of poetry. So you're a punk poet as well, are you? Yeah, I'm lead singer of Terminal Margaret. Never heard of you. Yeah, well, you will do in about two days, and they're coming around now. So don't be showing them Stationery Village now you section it all off, because that is well creepy. Organised stationery is the backbone of any good business, Vince. And while we're on the subject, where's print stick number three? <laughs> I put that in my holster this morning. All right, call your boots. I borrowed it. I'll give it back to you. Oh, I see. You're a punk, so now you're glue sniffing. Well done. <laughs> Not glue sniffing. Making a scrapbook of my favourite punks. Check it out. Mm. It's actually quite nice. I know, you should think about doing a jazz one. Might do. <laughs> anyway, look, my mates are going to be at any second, so you should probably nick off around the back. I'm not nipping off around the back. They see you, they are going to kick off. They lip off to me, I'll glue their mouth shut. I'm the sheriff of Stationary Village. Hey, guys. 
That's a good joke. Yeah. You'll set up tonight, mate. Yeah, look, I thought we could wear bondage trousers. Look, join yeah, at the ankles. Oh, yeah, great. Pumped, pretty pumped. Well pumped, 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 yeah. Pumped. yeah mate. Great. Uh, excuse me, could you not do that? It's a valuable piano. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. Oi, Vince, who's the uh, geography teacher? Oh, yeah, this is my mate Howard. Uh, Howard, this is Mickey Jizz. Hi, Mickey. Jackie Jerkoff and Dick and Donnie brain damage. Right. That goes there. Yeah? Yep. It can go there, though, can't it? Well, it can, but it doesn't. Have you tried this? Uh, yeah, I did try that. I didn't, didn't like it, so left, yeah. it, left it there. Try it again. This is Stationery Village. Uh, you don't have a passport, so perhaps think about vacating. I wouldn't want to live there anyway. Nor would Mr Penn. Yeah, he doesn't live down there, does he? Oh, Vince, look, this record's in its own ass. No, it's don't lick that, please. <laughs> Why is it in a little ass? Because it's valuable, OK? Can you put it back? Yeah, what if I want to buy it? Yeah, if you had a thousand euros, we could talk. Somehow, I don't think you do have. <laughs> huh? Yep. Hey. I've changed my mind. It's not for it's sale. Too late. It's too no. Late. Who is this guy? He's with us. He's making a documentary about all the gigs and the fights. Just ignore me. I'm not here. Carry on, yeah? Can right, you stop right. doing that? Please. I'm not really here. Just keep no. going. No, 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 no. Could it fly? It's in the modern air. Oh, yeah. oh, it should be in this special yeah, yeah. house. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 It's quite expensive. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Can you sign this, please? What is it? It's the release form for the documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OK. Cheers. Knob. You know, Shaolin monks can read tea leaves with a toenail. Yeah, Lester, can you shut up, please? All right. It's Vince's immune system. It's coming to attack us. You shall not pass. We're on a mission from the boom. We need to get to the brain. You, you shall not pass. You gotta get out there and reason with them. I packed the harpoon just in case that bastard jazz cell turns up. Don't worry, I got your back. If you need help, just nod. Aren't you blind? Well, when one sense diminishes, the other. Yeah, I'll use the walkie-talkie. All right. to help you. Something is killing us. It is you. You will die. It's not us. We're here to help you. There's a rogue jazz cell attacking you. We're here to capture it and kill it. Oh, oh jazz. 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 We hate jazz. Curiosity killed the cat. Jazz. Uh, that's not jazz. That's a pale imitation of true bebop. Ugh. You've got to help us find the jazz cell. We will never help you. We will dissolve you like a bath bomb. Prepare for the dissolving. No. Run the bath. The bath of pain. Lester, get me out of here! Don't worry, Howard. I got your back! What? what are they doing? They're going backwards? Towards his big toe? Oh, shit! Oh, you will die! We will destroy you! Die. Give me a chance. Leave you to the brain. We will never help you! What if I give you sweets? We will help you! No! We will not help him! Not even for licorice bootlaces! No! We will protect Vince! We are Vince! We, we are all this. this. I'm not. What? Who are you then? Uh, Roger Black. He's an athlete, you idiot. I am quite fast. You're not Roger Black, you're Vince. We all are. We, we are, are all Vince. Vince, I'm, I'm Howard. I'm Vince's best mate. Who? Howard Moon. Remember all the good times we had together? What times? The time we had those pancakes. Pancakes? Eggs, milk and flour, pancake power. Look, Look at his milky, milky sunshine face. Flip it now, flip it good. Ooh, flip it now, flip it good. Ooh, flip 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 good. Ooh flip flip summer, 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 summer sweet, summer, summer fruit, summer, summer meat. The time we used the chai, it really came alive. Edible frisbee, springtime juicy. I like the bouquet. Ah, Howard, we do remember you. Shall we take you to the brain? Yes, that's what this has been about. To the brain! Howard, we can go no further, but this is the optic nerve. It will take you straight to the brain. Good luck on your mission. 
Thanks a lot. Idiots. What? Nothing. Can I help you? Uh, I'm here to see Vince's brain. Have you got an appointment, darling? No. Mm. It's very important that I see the brain now. He can't, in fact, see you until July next year. <laughs> Security. We've got an intruder in the brain room. Yeah, big man, small eyes. Thank you. <laughs> I see headbands are coming back in. Yeah. I might get one. Don't rise to it, don't rise to it. Keep cool, calm, collected like me, OK? Hi, Lance. Yeah, consider the offer, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn you down. <laughs> Fine by me. I've already got somebody else. Hey there. Harold Boom at your service, sir. Coming at you like a beam, like a ray. Yeah? Coming at me, are you? I'll come at you. You don't come at me. Yeah, how comes at people, not you. Shut your small hair. Small hair? Yeah, you not heard of Root Boost? I'm sponsored by Root Boost, you jerk off. What are you doing? The big eyes, small eyes. We do the big eyes, small eyes. Oh, yeah? What do you call these little fellas then? Chinese cheddar? Oh, what? You think they're small? Yes, I do, sir. Well, my eyes are smaller than yours. I can fit mine twice in yours with room to spare, sir. Oh, care to prove that, sir? Oh, what? You want, what, you want to squint off? Oh, yes, I do, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 got a lot to learn. Is that as small as you can go? Oh, I can go Daddy. smaller. Do you want, what do you want, face two? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good talent. Take that. Yeah, not bad, not Take bad. It, can you yeah. still see, though? Yeah, I can. Yeah, how many fingers? Three. I rest my face. Hey, everything's up for grabs. My face isn't. Isn't it? No. Had it copyrighted this morning. Oh, see you in face court, then. Yeah, I've got the best face lawyer in the country. Oh, yeah, who's that? Marcus Hoffman. How'd you spell that? H-O-F-F-M. Hey, hey, pipe down there, little fella. It's not going to get to face court, is it? We're going to take you to the cleaners tomorrow night. Do you mean tomorrow night? Yeah, we've got a gig at the Velvet Onion. <laughs> so how gig? Not, Not anymore. anymore. You can't just come in here doing everything we do. Yeah, we can. And we can do it better. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you really? Yeah, little can bit. you? Yeah. Oh, well, can you do this? Oh, oh, oh. I, I did, did a twisty. twisty. Oh, oh, oh. A, a tiny, tiny twisty. twisty. Twist him up, twist him down, twist him all around like the cobra. Dancing to the music of the pipe, the pipe, the pipe, the pipe of life. Hi, 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 hi. Calamus, calamus, in the mud in the night. It's such a good thing. Don't forget to bring popcorn, Tony, and his paper castle. Yeah. You can keep that stuff. What was that bullshit? That was crimping, sir. Mm. Low down and dirty crimping. Yeah, so get out, all right, and think about yeah. what you've just seen. Yeah, yeah absorb it. Yeah, yeah, crimp virgins. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, we'll see you. Oh, unbelievable. That was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, really audacity. A pair of books. Oh. Right. Well, that was embarrassing. You know why it was embarrassing? Because you dragged me into a crimp. Well, I'm sorry, yeah. What can I say? I reached into the dark and I pulled out a crimp. I panicked. They're not for members of the general public. They're for me and you when we're on our own at night times. Oh, well, at least I did something. What you did was losing a squint off. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, really? You should be ashamed of the size your eyes are getting. Maybe you should think about surgery. Well, at least I did something, yeah? I didn't just stand around with my hair looking all dull and lusterless. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, did you see Lance coming in? Yeah, You I see his him. big proud mane like big strong lion? Oh, was it? Yeah, really? you look like a trout with a fringe. What's the matter? What's going on here? You're supposed to be running a shop? Yeah. I'll tell you what the matter is. Lance Dior, that's what the matter is. Yeah, and Harold Boom. What, these guys? That's a good look. That's our look! They're ripping us off left, right and centre. Come on, true originality always wins in the end. Get over it. It's what's inside that counts, my friend. It's not the peel, it's the nana. It's yeah, I've done that. In... Shalom, a cinema in the night. Such, Such a good thing. thing. Don't forget to bring popcorn, Tony, and his paper castle. Yeah! Wow, what was that? It's cool, cool. It's the new thing. I want a crimp. Wow, I'm inventing a new genre. I'm going to kill him. Is this a joke? Without our crimp bodies, we wouldn't have invented crimp. So please welcome Canoe and Umbrello. This is bullshit. This turbine's not even on straight. Easy, Naboo. Remember Peacock Dreams. Peacock can suck my ass. This is war. <laughs> this is a travesty, sir. Oh, look, it's the shiny charlatans. We've been crimping for years at night times in our room when no one's looking, but we have been doing it. We started crimp. 
We studied crimpology. Well, he did, but I studied fashion at St. Martin's. But still, you can't do this. We shall take you down. We are the originators of crimp. Prove it. We don't believe you. Yeah. We will prove it. We're going to crimp you silly. Yeah, we're going to crimp you sensible. We're going to crimp you in the next week. We're going to crimp you back to 82. We're going to blast you with our crimp pump. Well, that's very big talk, sir. Sounds like a challenge. <sighs> oh, well, perhaps it is a challenge, sir. <sighs> well, is it a challenge? <sighs> yes. Fair dues. Holy shit sauce! Hey everybody! Looks like we got ourselves a crimpo! Alan, 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 Ratnid, the spider provider, don't get caught in his web. Lam dancer, lam dancer, lam dancer, in his rice and a rack. Been in the kitchen, bitching about bacon. Someone took the last slice, that's not nice. Oh, spooky, 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 spooky monkey. Sitting in my flat, he's a primate junkie. Oh, oh, oh. Sweeping up, sweeping down, sweeping all around town. Here come Mr. Broom Boom. Ooh. Here come Mr. Broom Boom. Ooh. Paul Pie, shiny eye, the champagne pedo. The freaking mole, the vole, the hamster, and that completes the top 100 most dangerous animals in Wales. That was incredible. The finished. That was off the scale. There's no way we can beat that. Maybe there is a way. The four-way crew. No, it's never been done. It's impossible. Can't be done. Maybe it can. Four minds working as one. Aye! Crimpity, crimpity, now, now, crimpity, crimpity, ask me how. Crimpity, crimpity, humble pie. Crimpity, crimpity, boing, ding, bong, bong, ding. Crimpity, crimpity, ping pong. Sugar man, light sauce, why did you come to me? Put me in a coma, woke up in the future. Robot man, can't you help me find my way? I can't understand the things you say. Chew, mouse, I love you so. I, I took, took you from the underground and brought you home. I put you in my jacket pocket, took you to the meeting. Put you in my jacket pocket, took you to the meeting. Put you in my jacket pocket, put you in my jacket pocket, put you in my jacket, put you in my jacket. John Claw, jacket with his jacket on. John Claw, jacket with his jacket off. Jacket on, jacket off, jacket on, jacket off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did a twisty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A tiny twisty. Crimpity, crimpity. Now, now, crimpity, crimpity. Ask me how. Crimpity, crimpity. You will pay. Crimpity, crimpity. How? My way, boing, ding, bong, bong, ding, grimpity, grimpity, fuck you. That doesn't mean they don't exist, okay? They've done a whole day's work before you've even put your straighteners on. Oh, they just pop round the back. They can't just pop round the back. Why not? Because they can't fit down the alleyway, can they? It's too narrow for them. Oh, come off it. I can fit, that's just an excuse. Well, you can, yeah. You're not a real man, eh? You're like a puppet in an outfit. Bin men are real men, tall as they are wide, with big hands. Big necks, big dreams. They sound awful. Can't all be models, can't all be in a band, Vince. Some people have to do real jobs, you know? What do you think happens to stocky short people with wide backs? I don't know, do they lie down to sad music and die like the elephant man? What do you think would happen in a world without bin men? Would it be the same, but with a few more Kit Kat rappers on the floor? There would be vermin running riot around this town. Urban foxes terrorising the neighbourhood. Urban foxes are nice, aren't they? They're all red and cute. Uh, no, they're not. They're vicious. They are the scourge of the bin men. His nemesis, if you like. <laughs> why do you care so much about the plight of the bin man? What is this? Do you want to know why? Yeah. Because I used to be a bin man. <laughs> Shit's off. No way, really. This is huge. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to put this on my face. You're not going anywhere. Why? You're staying here and you're tidying up. <sighs> see you later. Where are you going? Where am I going? I'm going to Jazzercise. What? Working out to Hot Bebop. Circuit trainer to John Coltrane. You're ridiculous. When I get back, I want to see all the bin bags moved from out the back and in the designated refuse area. Oh, it's going to take all night. How many bin bags are out there, Vince? Three or four. That won't take you long, then, will it?
Who are you? I'm the Foxy Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, um, could you get out of here? Because I've got to clear all this rubbish away. This isn't rubbish, this is my home. That hole that you crawled through is my front door, sir. The little skateboard there, that's my transportation unit. This old peach, why, it's my hat, sir. Look. Yeah. Peach hat. <laughs> Everything's different in my world. Let me explain. I look at things that are different. Are you a prince? I am called Vince, but I'm not a prince. Vincey, princey. <laughs> I did a rhyme. Well done. You should have a goblet of wine. It's not really a goblet, is it? It's sort of a tennis ball cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Vimto? It's blood from a cat's face. <laughs> 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 Jesus! You like my joke? I gotta go actually, because you're a freak. L no, no, I didn't always used to be a freak. Perhaps if you heard my story, you'd understand me more. I really like stories. I've got pictures with it and animation. Cartoons, cool. Move my galoshes and take your seat. These are not really galoshes, are they? They're Johnny's. They're my squishy boots. <laughs> Everything's different in the world of me. Okay, let's have fun. Yeah, that's not the film I meant to show. That's the nighttime film for me and the night times for the fuzzy tingle time. I don't need you guys anyway. I don't need this place. I've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah? Irons in the fire. Vince, I'll never forgive you for what you did to me today. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a call Wednesday. The boom, Randolph. Robbity Poppity, the Enigma. You have been accused of losing a pint of shaman juice, the most incredibly powerful liquid in the universe. How did this occur, Nabu? What happened was this fox came in and farted and Vince lost consciousness. A fox came in? What is this, Beatrix Potter? Time and time again, you parade in front of us with these Jack and Nori stories. This time, justice must be swift and severe. Fortunately, Sabu, on this occasion, no harm has been done. The shaman juice only becomes active under the light of a full moon, a complex process, which a civilian would have no way of knowing. Is that why we write instructions on side of bottle? Shut up. Oh, dear. Shit off! This is unbelievable! You pair of plum preserves. Oh, what were you playing at? These are shamanistic secrets passed down from generation to generation. There's a lot to remember with these spells. Yeah. Hold it under a full moon, mm -hmm. put in the shadow of a virgin. You didn't lose! I've got a bad memory anyway. I wonder why. It's because you're always on the wacky backy. You can talk. We've all seen you at Glastonbury with your nose burnt out from poppers. When I go, I'll go large, granted. But that's a once, maybe twice a year deal. You and that ape were on the weed every night, smoking your minds to mush. At least I can handle my drugs. I can handle more than you, sunshine. We're not here to discuss who can handle the most drugs, are we? I wonder why. And what does that mean, Sabu? It means that you take half a knee and you wet your little knickers. I've seen you in a field, naked, with just a sock and a whistle. You thought you were in The Shining. I was on antibiotics for an earlier condition. Oh, Sean J. Le Disc. What about that time you had free espressos? We found you in the corner weeping, trying to peel yourself like a satsuma. I had an itch. I was itching my arm. Hmm? I changed washing powders. It had flared up. You used a glue gun one for some simple DIY, and you thought you saw the black dog. I thought that was the black dog. Look, when it comes to drug taking, I think you'll find Kirk leaves us all in the dust. I mean, what is he looking at? Nobody knows. Kirk is journeying far into the astral realm. He's off his tits. He's on the shores of oblivion. Kirk, if you can hear us, simply nod. Kirky? K-man. Kirk! Enough of this. Let us return to the matter of shamanic justice. It clearly states in the Book of the Law that the penalty is death. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, really? It's a bit late for that, don't you think, Bolo? Yeah. Hey, shaman, is there nothing you can do? I'm sorry, Nabu. Nabu, I regret to inform you, you are to be executed. This is it, Bolo. Mm. We're close to the end. It's over. Years ago, well, it's fresh in my mind, Sonny Jim. Fresh as a hot bagel from Mama's oven. 
is a bouncy castle. That's why we're here. If it's told us there will be one, you've wasted our time. It's coming. Vince said so. Listen, loser, we've waited over two hours. Now you're gonna get it. What do you mean? Let's jump on Howard instead. No! Why, Vince? Why did you do it? No one was going to come to your party. It would have been embarrassing. Yeah. I just panicked and told them there was going to be a bouncy castle. Yeah, well, they all kicked my head in, thanks to you. Well, at least they're taking their shoes off. It's not funny. I'm sorry, Howard. I really wanted that bouncy castle, you know. Well, look, if we have a party, I'll get you a bouncy castle. I think I'm a bit old for that now, Vince, don't you? 50's not that old. Yeah, I'm not 50, am I? How old are you? I'm 32. Ten years older than you. Look, the thing is, Howard, it doesn't matter how old you are, Bouncy Castles are still genius. I went on a couple of weeks ago. It was amazing. I bounced as high as my own head. Really? Yeah. As if you did. I did. Did you do any somersaults? I did six somersaults. Six? And I did one of those things where you go backwards and land on your feet. I don't even know what they're called, but they are cool. Jimmy flips. I did a Jimmy flip. Really? It was amazing, Howard. Oh. You'd have loved it. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, such a good time, bouncy, bouncy. Shoes all in a line, bouncy, bouncy. Everybody somersault, somersault, summertime. Everybody sing along, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, such a good time, bouncy, bouncy. White socks slipping down, bouncy, bouncy. Stilettos out of no, no, bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, bouncy, bouncy. Ooh, every time I bounce, I feel I touch the sky. I'm not interested, okay? Stop trying to lure me in with a crimp. Man is born alone, Vince. You should celebrate that day alone, in somber isolation. If we have a party, there'll be girls there. Girls? Yeah, girls. Yeah, these Camden Dolly birds, they're not for me, Vince. I'm a real man, a man of substance, and I'm having a quiet night in. Well, this is a nightmare, because I've invited all of my mates. Yeah? Well, you're gonna have to disinvite them, aren't you? They're good people. What, they, it's gonna be embarrassing. Good people. Let's have a look at some of these friends of yours, yeah? Johnny Rhythm. He's a club promoter. Vector. She's a photographer. Mama Zoom. You know Mama Zoom. She was here last Thursday, the one eating toast. Jack Le Cube. I mean, who, what kind of a name is that? Well, he's French and he's a cube. Right. Well, he's not coming to the party, neither is anyone else. No party and nothing on God's sweet earth is going to make me change my mind. Leave this to me. Hi. Hi. Hello. I couldn't help but see you looking at the jazz records there. Um, if you like those, um, you might be interested in these. It's just something I've knocked up myself. It's a pencil case with a picture of a jazz musician on the front, uniting the twin disciplines of jazz and stationary management in one unique package. Um, I heard there was a party here tonight. Yeah, Howard doesn't want a party. He'd rather sit in a dark room with his 70-year-old jazz mate, swapping hands and listening to Weather Report. That is a joke. <laughs> so, there is a party here tonight? Oh yes, a big party, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much party central around here. Um, I mean, my party's a legendary. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Great, I love parties. I love parties too. Meeting new people. That's what I love. Dancing. Dancing and meeting <laughs> people and... That's what I'm all about, you know. I mean, maybe I'll see you there. Maybe you will. Maybe I will. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Will I see you? Yeah. Great. Bye. Unbelievable. Yep, still got the moves. I've been trying to get you to have a party for 10 years. Nothing. One girl comes in, bats her lashes at you, and you melt like warm Nutella. You're just angry, Vince, because she liked me and not you. Oh yeah, there's gonna be sparks tonight. The times are changing for Howard T.J. Moon. I've still got the magic. Pow! <laughs> hey, you are coming out, the party's even. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the right time to emerge. What are you, a pupa? Look, it's important to arrive late, even at your own party. It's my party. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's your party. These people are here for you. That's why I'm coming out late. Let you bask in the glory on your own for a bit. Hurry up, OK, or you'll miss my speech. Uh, what? I'm doing a small speech about safety precautions and fire exits and that sort of stuff, you know? Might even pop a couple of jokes in. Oh, please don't do that. We all like having fun. But it's even more fun when we can have safe fun. A concept is formulating. Fleetwood Max Tusk in its entirety. Oh. Watch the room crumble at the aura of the H-Man. Are you insane? There's at most one track I could get away with off 
may be rumours. Oh, come off it. Tusk, in its entirety, with the pauses, as Lindsay Buckingham intended it to be heard. Yeah, why don't you just give me a 44? I can spray my brains on the decks. Oh, what is your beef with the Mac? The same beef every right-thinking man has. They are bullshit munchers. When are you going to start thinking outside the box? The box is there for a reason. It's a key ball men like you inside it. You are so square. What do you want to lay down? I would like to play Would I Lie to You by Charles and Eddie. Ah, uh, all right, fair enough. Good choice. Thank you. Slam it down. Hello, can we have the music off for a minute, please? Who's this joker? Yes, yeah, Howard Moon. It's my party. It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, son. How old are you? 32. Oh, you're older than me. Hi. Hello. I just want to say thanks for, for coming to uh, my birthday. Um, thank you very much. Uh, didn't know I had so many friends. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? Right back at you. Oh, a little announcement to the owner of a blue Mazda, which is parked outside. Uh, get another car. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, look at his breasts. <laughs> yep. Um, so uh, it's my birthday, uh, the big three, two. Time flies, eh? Especially when you're having fun, which is what tonight's all about. Obviously, a few ground rules. Don't go downstairs into the shop because there are objects down there that could get broken and they're quite valuable. And uh, my room is out of bounds, of course, unless you're a young, attractive girl who likes jazz. And then it's just down there on the right. <laughs> Lester Concrete there, good friend of mine. Woo! Uh, I don't really know him that well. I just met him on the bus. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, so, uh, well, it's been a crazy old road. I'll tell you that, um, whew, seems like only yesterday that I was a young guy in Leeds there with a head full of dreams and a passion for jazz rock fusion. Uh, but I followed those dreams, I followed that passion, and it took me all the way to Doncaster, where I... He's amazing, who is he? Is he Christ? You have you been, been brought, brought here for one, one purpose, purpose and one, one purpose, purpose alone. alone. To, to bask in the, in the glory, glory of my, my outfit, outfit and, and party, party like, like you've never partied before. before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's Hal's birthday as well. Monty, I've got an idea. Hmm? You're a great actor. I need training up. Why don't you train me? Hmm? Take the chokes off me, train me up as an actor. No, 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 I don't do that anymore. Thank you, but no, no, no. I suppose Sammy will be getting ready to go on stage now. Who? Sammy the Crab. No! No, Sammy! No, Sammy the Crab! No, Sammy the Crab! I hate him! He was the one I lost the part to! The one who ran off with my wife! Oh, there's not a day goes by when I don't want to kill Sammy! Throw him into a huge cooking pot and eat the little pink wanker! Ah! So he's on the bill with you tonight, is he? Yeah, he's my competition tonight. So if I train you up, get rid of the chokes, you mean we'd be sticking it to Sammy? You're damn right we would. We have no time to lose! All right. Let's go! Where? To my secret woodland acting training area! OK, I'm pretty sure this is the answer, Vince. Now, instructions say, no go over level 10. OK. But the gig starts in an hour, so I'm going to take you to level 42. All right, do it, Bono. Oh, yeah, come on. Mm. Feel it. Bono, can you stop pretending to be Mark King and make my legs thin? Sorry. Dickhead. Ah, oh, here we are once more, in my acting dojo. It's not easy being an actor, you know. Sometimes you'll have to act for 30, 35 minutes in one go. With no interval. Well, a short interval. But then another half an hour. Do you think you have what it takes? Yes, I do. Do you, though? Yes. Do you really want it? I really want it. But do you really want it, Howard? I want it more than life itself, Monty. Well, you're going to have to want it a little bit more than that, my friend. How is that possible? Not sure. Acting. Now, first things first. The hell is this? Are you training to be a football manager? Are you terrified of wolves? 
No, 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 no. We need the appropriate acting attire. Tights, dear boy. Tights. I want to see you skipping around the bracken in your tights. Didn't bring any tights with me. Well, luckily I did. Behind the tree, off you pop, put them on. Don't worry, boy, I won't look. Emotions. Now, Howard, as an actor, you'll need to summon up emotions as quick as a beam, OK? I'm going to fire a few at you now. Pain! Sorrow! Ecstasy! MDMA! Joy! Jealousy! A situation, perhaps? You've lost your ladder! Look for your ladder! You found it again! One of the rungs is missing! Who on earth did this to my ladder? Was it little Johnny in the pantry with his trousers around his ankles? Ask him! Confront him! Did you break my ladder? No! Not with your mouth! With your nose, boy! Tell me a story with your nose! Useless! Time for a break. Let's have a licorice roly, a double brandy, and bitch about the industry. Who the fuck is John Sim? John Sim? Lesson 49, object animation. What do you see in front of you? A pencil. A pencil? No, no, no! Look, it's Niagara Falls! It's a seagull! It's cheese in the shape of a question mark! It's anything you bloody want it to be! You try! Come on! I don't know what to do. I can't make it into anything else. It's just a pencil, you stupid old git. Yes! You found the truth! You're an actor now! And I'm as hard as the cobra! Mighty Cobra! OK, Hal, this is your audience. Give them a little blast of Hamlet, dear boy. We are in some deep diarrhea. Sammy the Crab just went to Nutball Village. Uh, don't panic, just put the blue McEnroes on, yeah? Well, I would, but Sammy killed them all! They're the red McEnroes now! Listen, the crowd is baying for an actor. Do you know anybody? Oh, I might know someone. Hello, Howard Moon. Hey, Howard, it's Vince. Yeah, Sammy's gone mad, he's mutilated everyone. We need an actor, as soon as possible. Can you come down? To the theater! Think of the pencil, Howard. Think of the pencil. anger. It was at this moment that I realized I had found the man for my next project. He was the one. What's going on? Do you mind? Bolly's helping me put my trousers on. Ah, oh, right. I just want to say I'm leaving. 
Jürgen's offered me the part in his latest project, so I won't be coming back to the shop. Are you going to be OK on your own? I'll be fine. I'm not going back to the shop anyway. Once I get these drain pipes on, I'm going all the way with the black tubes. OK, well, I'll send you a postcard from Hollywood. I'll send you a postcard. See you later, losers. Come on, We're almost there. Come on. We're almost in. We've done it. Oh. Oh my God. What? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. All right. Without further ado, let's welcome to the stage Vince Wong.